Welcome back. This lesson is on adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Stuff you should know includes fractions, mixed numbers, and improper fractions. Basically, like we said before, converting back and forth between the two comfortably. And finally, adding and subtracting both like and unlike fractions. So, let's get started. Let's start with adding mixed numbers. When you're adding mixed numbers, there's three steps. The first step is to separate the wholes and the fractions. The second step is to add fractions. You may need to carry, but it might not happen in every single problem. And step three is to add the holes. Now let's take a look at an example. This one actually has a visual representation. So let's take a look. We've got three and a half plus two and three fourths. Three and a half plus two and three fourths. Now step one says to separate the fractions and the holes. So let's do just that. We'll bring the holes to the left, keep our fractions on the right. And now what we have to do is go to step two. Step two says to add your fractions. But we can't add these fractions yet. Well, why is that? The reason why we can't add the fractions yet is because they don't have the same denominator. This one has a denominator of two, and this one has a denominator of four. That's why I said before, it's important that you have a good understanding of how to add unlike fractions. What we need to do is turn them into the same denominator, and that's gonna make our one half change into two fourths. So now we've got two fourths plus three fourths, and the step says to add the fractions. So let's do just that. We'll add two fourths plus three fourths, and all together that gives us five fourths. So five fourths, we have one, two, three, four, five fourths all together. But remember, that's an improper fraction. We're never supposed to leave our answer as an improper fraction. So let's take that five fourths and change it to a mixed number. And when we do that, we're going to have one and one fourth. Now, the problem is that this is the fraction side, but we have a mixed number here. So we're going to carry. We're going to carry the one hole to where the holes are, and then we're going to keep our one fourth here. The one fourth stays behind. We have another hole that we carry here. So now all we have to do is add our holes. One plus three is four. Four plus two is six. So our answer is six and one fourth. Okay, so for this example, we have five and three fifths plus six and one third. Step one says to separate the holes and the fraction. So let's do that. Now, we've got the fraction on the right and the holes on the left. Step two is to add the fractions. Now the problem is again, like the other one, these are unlike fractions. They don't have the same denominator, so we can't just add the numerators like we normally would. So we have to change the denominators to be the same, and when we do that, our fractions change. They change to become 9 fifteenths and 5 fifteenths because the LCD was 15. So now we've got to add the fractions. We've got 9 plus 5 is going to give us 14 out of 15. And step 3, finally, is to add the holes. There was no carrying that we had to do in here like our last example. So all we do is add the holes up 5 and 6, and we get 11. So our answer is 11 and 14 fifteenths. Again, another example. Step 1 says to separate the holes and the fractions. Let's do that. Now that we have them separated, step two is to add the fractions up. But again, these are unlike fractions, so we have to change the denominator, and the denominator is going to become 21. This changes the fractions. So now we've got 3 over 21 plus 14 over 21, and together that's going to give us 17 over 21. Again, this isn't a mixed number. This isn't an improper fraction. So there's no need to carry. There's nothing extra, just our fraction. So then we go to step three, which says just to add our holes, we've got 7 plus 1. That gives us 8, and our final answer is 8 and 17 over 21. Now, subtracting mixed numbers is very, very similar. There's just one major difference. Instead of adding, you're subtracting. So same thing, we have three steps. The first is to separate holes and fractions, just like before. Step two is to subtract the fractions and borrow if needed. Now, when you learn basic subtraction and basic addition, when you would add, you would carry, just like we did in our other examples. Here, we're subtracting, so you might have to borrow, although it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, and step three says to subtract our holes. But let's take an, an example with another visual representation. Three and a half minus two and three fourths. So here we have three and a half. Here we have two and three fourths. Step Step one says to separate our fractions and holes. So let's do that. We brought our holes to the left and our fractions will be kept on the right. Step two is to subtract the fractions. Now, for this example, we're trying to subtract one half and three fourths. Before we try anything, we have to have the same denominator. Again, that's gonna change this from being one half 
to 2 fourths. But now I've got 2 fourths minus 3 fourths. I don't have enough to take away from. So can I subtract? No. In this case, I'm going to have to borrow. Now, when I borrow, I'm going to borrow from the whole spot. So I'm going to take a hole from over there, bring it over to the right, and this three holes is no longer three, now it's two. So we're going to cross out the three, put a two there, and now this was out of four. Both of our denominators are out of four, so we're going to turn this into four pieces, and that's going to be four out of four. So now we don't have two over four minus three over four. We've got two fourths plus four fourths, and that gives us six fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fourths. So now I've got six fourths minus the three fourths, and when I try to take that away, we now have three fourths left. So six fourths minus three fourths gives us three fourths. And then step three says to subtract our holes. Now all I've got to do is subtract two minus two, and that's pretty straightforward. That leaves us with nothing. I don't have to write zero there. I already know that it's nothing, so I just leave that blank. And then my final answer is just a 3 fourths. Another example. Step 1, subtract the holes in the fractions. Let's do that. Step 2 is to subtract fractions and borrow if necessary. Now, I can't subtract 4 elevenths from nothing. I have to have something that I subtract from. So, what do I do? I take from this 10, I take one hole, that's no longer 10, that's 9 now, and I put one hole here. Well, one hole here has 11 pieces. How did I know that? because the denominator here has 11 pieces. So I made this out of 11. If this example were, let's say, 4 over 15, then this would be 15 over 15. If this were 4 over 35, then this would be 35 over 35. This can always change to be whatever the denominator you're talking about is. And that's 7 over 11. And step 3 is to subtract our holes. I have 9 minus 7, and that's going to be 2. My final answer is 2 and 7 elevenths. Okay, so here's another example. Step 1 is to separate the holes and fractions. So we'll separate our holes and our fractions. Step 2 is to subtract our fractions and borrow if needed. Well, the first thing we're going to try and do is make sure that we have the same denominator so we can subtract in the first place. Here we have a denominator of 15, and here we have a denominator of 10. When we change those to, to get the LCD, our LCD is going to be 30, so our new fractions are going to be 22 over 30 and 9 over 30. Now, since I have 22 out of 30 over here and 9 over 30 here, I don't need to borrow. I can just subtract 22 minus 9, and that gives me 13 over 30. Step 3 is to subtract my holes, and that's going to be 21 minus 13, and that gives me 8. My final answer is 8 and 13 thirtieths. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause. And practice. When you're done, unpause the video. After a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answer will be displayed. Go. Okay, so here we go. Answer for number 1 is 11 and 9 tenths. Number 2 is 3 and 1 fifth. Number 3 is 11 and 13 twenty fourths. Number four is three and a half. Number five is 16 and one third. And number six is two and three eighths. A brief reflection. There are blank steps needed to adding mixed numbers. We discussed that and we know there's three steps. The three steps for adding mixed numbers are one, separate the holes and fractions. Two, add fractions, carry if needed. And three, to add the holes. When subtracting mixed numbers, if there is not enough to subtract from in the top fraction, you must borrow from the holes. Make, make sure you know that. That's very important. A lot of people think that they're going to borrow and just uh, put a 1 in front of the number. That's not the case. Remember, we went over how to borrow from the whole side of the mixed number. There are blank steps needed to subtracting mixed numbers. Again, we went over that. There are three steps. The three steps for subtracting mixed numbers are, they're very similar to the three steps for adding mixed numbers, which are one, separate the holes and fractions, two, subtract fractions, borrow if needed and only if needed, and step three, to subtract the holes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Questions, comments, leave them down below. 
and thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.